Hello, I'm from Leeds and I'm uh, called a wild fro. Hello, I am from Denmark and I'm called a derpel. And I'm from Wisconsin in the USA and I'm a big Szechuan. <laughs> I think I'm the best sounding one. Well, you're not. I am the best sounding one. I think you're all wrong. I think I'm the best sounding one. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Pete, That's all right. and welcome yeah. to another episode of Anderson's TV. We're going to talk about Tone City pedals. Tone City pedals. Uh, not just any Tone City pedals. Uh, we're going to talk about the ones that we've collaborated with uh, oh, yeah. our friends to do their own kind of uh, takes on a Tone City pedal. When so, you say friends, it's people we know. Well, I say friends, yeah. Friends. Um, <laughs> so, <laughs> friends. Friend. <laughs> so Tone City, I first started uh, dealing with the guys at Tone City about five years ago. Um, they have a range of um, highly affordable but really good pedals um, made out of China. And we sell thousands and thousands of them. And then last year, I asked uh, the wonderful Mr. Peter Honore and the uber-talented and lovely Mr. Rabir Massad if they would do like tweaked versions of them. So they took all the pedals home and they went through them and they each chose their favorite one and then they went, well, but I would just do this to it. I'd yeah, tweak yeah. it, add a bit, take a bit away, whatever. And the Wild Fro was born and the Durple was born. And in that opening little few seconds of playing, of you dirt. were just hearing Pete playing the Durple into a completely clean amplifier. Uh, this year, we managed to convince the effervescent uh, and wildly talented uh, Greg Koch to, to, to do the same thing. So and very tall. He, yes, and very tall. <laughs> um, and he took all the uh, Tone City pedals back to America with him and went through them, chose his favorite one and said, but I would just do this to it. And that's now the Lil Heat. Lil Heat. So of course, uh, we can't, uh, we not, it's not possible to have three pedals uh, without choosing which one is the best one. Um, so, or at least showing you how they're different. Uh, so I thought we'd line them up the three today and go through them. So yeah. they're 45 quid each. Yeah. The whole Tone City range, it sits between 40 and 50 pounds um, and we ship them all around the world. So if you live in America, um, the, the dollar converts into, once you take the VAT off and stuff, the dollar converts into pounds at about, um, I don't know, somewhere between about 50 bucks for one of these and then shipping is about 10 bucks. So again, we do this crazy, I often get people comment on um, Facebook saying, I ordered this Tone City pedal from Anderson's on a Tuesday and it arrived in on the Thursday and I'm in Texas or whatever, yeah, which yeah, is like crazy. Mad. So yeah. Available all around the world, um, from you know Australia to Zimbabwe. Actually, they're probably not. They're probably too close to each other. From I Australia couldn't think of to anywhere else that began with Z. Uh, North Pole um, to South Pole. Hey, exactly. Uh, right. So let's do in no particular <laughs> order. Let's do the little heat. This one was based on the sweet cream, uh, and is so probably the lowest gain of the three, or at least the one that's designed to perhaps just give a little bit of heat ah, to the tone. Ah. Uh, so let's have a. This is this is nothing. This is what okay. the guitar. I mean, that's great. That's everything at twelve, but there's lots well, of volume it's not, in that, right? Actually, it's it's every it's not the volume at twelve because one of the mods that was done on the little heat was actually just to have a lot more volume yeah. at twelve. Yeah. So actually, if I put this at twelve and then just turn it on and off, you'll hear even with the gain down, it's quite a big volume boost as yeah. well. So here we go. Woo! Yeah, it's much more of a boost. <laughs> It's a great, it's a great yeah. sounding pedal. So I'm whilst Just Pete's playing, I'll one. go from like the minimum amount of heat uh, to the maximum <laughs> amount. I'll fiddle around with the tone control as well, uh, and you'll get an idea of what you could get out of one of these. 
Mr. Cock. Oh, can anyone? Uh, can no anyone? One can. I mean, he's, Other than the him. man is insane. So, yeah. I mean, it sounds it's great. This is so, a great sounding pedal, yeah. and I, I, it's so difficult with these kind of things. It's like because you know it's Tone City, and because you know it's forty-five quid. Yeah. I think your 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 brain kind of just assumes it can't brain. be that good. Yeah. You know, but actually, when you hear this, it's just. They sound really, really good, and I think it's a big reason why we've sold so many over the years. So that's the little heat um, into a clean amplifier with a Strat. Yeah, it's funny so, to use a Strat because he doesn't use a Strat, I don't really use a Strat, or I want to use it more, but Beer doesn't use a Strat either. So this is just to see what it sounds like with something that is not necessarily what we would choose for this, yeah. you know. Um, so the Durple, um, I can't even remember, what was that one based on? Danish Pete Purple. I can't remember no, either. It, was, it the Mand um, was it the Mandragora? I think it might be the Mandragora. Yeah, it's the Mandragora, I think it was. I think yeah. it was a Mandragora. Yeah. But we changed a few of the things. So I don't, if I remember rightly, I don't think the Mandragora has a mid-range control no, on it. No, put a mid-range control on it. Um, but anyway, again, here, yeah. I mean, Pete uses this pedal in yeah, hundreds of videos. It, it's on his board yeah. sitting all next to pedals that are 10 times as much. Yeah. Uh, here we go. Turn it off just to get the clean. It's much more sort of less. There's much more less. Le much more less. Yes. <laughs> there's much less. It's much more in less. There. It's wider but narrower. It's all a bit shorter. <laughs> I mean, I find like it's less drive. It's just more of a uh, crunch thing. <laughs> So you can control those. So here's on its minimum kind of setting. I'm going straight down. Yep. Yeah, there's plenty of drive in it. I mean, yeah, it's good. It's good. So it's we've got good. this mid-range control as well uh -huh. now. So let's just see uh, what that does. If I, it's an, and it's it's a active control so it scoops as well as boosts so here's a scoopage it comes almost like a tube scream when we type thing We wind it in in the middle. Here we go. It's a great sounding a lot, of, lot of little tweaky tweaks. Forty five quid. Two-year warranty and true <laughs> bypass.
Uh, they're bypass. all that, by the way. They're all Drew Bypass and uh, two-year warranty. <laughs> Wild Fro. Uh, this is based on the Wild Fire, which is the, probably the gainiest one, and has two modes of gain, uh, one normal and one more mode. Um, so let's have a listen in its normal mode. <laughs> Sorry, that's the normal mode. That's the normal mode, <laughs> So there's not, if you, yeah, you, maybe a bit more volume on there. Well, Rabir, I remember Rabir wanted something that he could either use with a, with like a, a Strat or a Tele yeah. as, a, as a bluesy thing, or yeah. he could get a humbucker guitar, put it into its more mode, and it would do much more. heavier gain kind yeah. of setting. Because that um, is... That's a nice drive, yeah. To more mode. More. That's where it starts to back pick up. Got a little bit. I'll just do the tone <laughs> controls as I've done. That. better sounding drive pedals for this kind of money on the market ever. You could have all real. three of these for the same price as like a basic American made drive pedal. And if you buy three, is there a thing? Two. Or? If you, buy, if you two, buy two, we give you um, a, three a, power, a power supply with a daisy chain thingy on it. So you can run up to five pedals off of a power supply. You get that for free if you buy two. Uh, but why not buy all three of them? Or buy three. And then you don't get anything extra, uh, but we make 45 pounds more. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and then um, you buy four, then you get two data chains in case. I don't think it works like that. You would do if you bought the if you bought two Separate. and then came back and bought another two, you'd get two free power supplies. But if you yeah. buy all four at once, I don't think it works like that. Oh, it doesn't work so, like that. So, yeah. well then, so you need to be sneaky, but it needs to sneaky. pay for the extra port. Yeah. Uh, so you can't put batteries in these, as you've probably realised, because they're too small. So you do need a power supply, just a normal nine volt power supply. Yeah. Um, I thought, you know, whilst we've got the three here, what happens if you put one into the other? I mean, I'm not sure there'd be much of Pete left if we put Greg Cock inside Pete. <laughs> um, but, uh, or Revere for that matter. Uh, perhaps we should have put uh, Greg last in this chain because I, I think he'd have the capacity. Um, but let's oh, have a little a, listen that's and a see what happens quad. if we sure get... That's a monastic I want to be a part of. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's messy. So let's see what happens. Uh, Greg into Pete. <laughs> Oh, wow, yeah. Because that's got the boost thing, doesn't oh. it? Is something the like the story. noise you'd make if you put Greg into uh, Pete. Yeah, this is um, the noise I would. Or maybe. Like that. What about uh, Greg into a beer? Let's have a little listen here. Uh, Pete into a beer, for that matter. It's your 
chosen the right boost into. Wow. Yeah. That's they great sound tone, isn't it? Wicked. Just uh, two, put those two on again. I'm just gonna go. Because the little heat's got much more bass end, it fattens it more. So it like, it up, I, I it? think yeah. that was a good <laughs> So there we are. Little video, bit of fun. Check out the Tone City range. They are great. And what I'm looking for in the comment section is Seccione. who else do I know that I could go and ask if they want to do their own twist on a Tone City pedal? So names below. If I don't even need to know them, uh, but it's useful if I do. Yeah. Uh, and then we could collaborate. Um, maybe you. I don't know. I'm thinking. I'm thinking Mick and Dan, maybe. Or, oh yeah. Oh, hang on. That or, would be a good one, wouldn't or it? Joey or Ariel. Or, um, you there's know, loads. There's Eric Clapton. Cla like John Mayer. John, John, the little John. The little John. <laughs> oh my goodness me, the Mayer Slayer. It's just oh, the like... little, little Mayer. Mayer of Johnsville. John Mayer. Mayer Manese. That's, hey. Anyway, look, they're great. 45 quid. Available from Anderton's. Do it now. Do it. Do it. Josh Smith. Do it now. Josh Kirk Smith. Fletcher. Kirk Fletcher. Hey, oh, there's loads, there's loads, man. There's loads. I'm open to collaborating with anybody as long as they're Nita nice. Strauss. Just as long as they're nice. Yeah, I don't mind. Anyone. Nita, uh, Lari. Yeah. That's Pretty common, soon, common, they'll common. just have like literally this whole world of where everyone's got essentially the same Tone City pedal, just in their own <laughs> colour. It was a little bit different. <laughs> but in a different anyway, anyway, there we are. Links below. Enjoy. Have a great day. Bye bye. Peace.